Okay, I'm one of the... I don't know what number of people exactly, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I really, I enjoyed Andor. Uh, first three, first three episodes, I think it was, were, well, first of all, I agree with a lot of people who say the first three episodes you could have just put into one episode. Because I'm not gonna lie, like, that was unnecessary amount of episodes to just do one thing. Like, it really, it made no sense, and then it was, like, slow, and I was like, eh, is that really how you want to start a show? So already you start off on a bad note, no wonder no one's watching. No wonder no one's gonna watch this show. Uh, but then after that, it really started becoming something. And some of my f my favorite episodes actually were when An when Cassian is in that prison, and we see Andy Circus. Which oh my gosh, I lost my mind. I was like, wait, what? You know, that's Snoke. That's Snoke. That's where he came from. No, uh, it was cool just seeing Andy Circus and that whole like just prison thing, just all the different levels and. I'm one of these people probably, I think I figured out pretty early on what they were building, and of course, spoiler alert, the very last episode, a, which by the way, didn't even feel like an end to a season, it just felt like, alright, what's the next episode gonna be? Terrible, terrible, uh, planning. But basically, they were building stuff for the Death Star, basically the dish, or something. Like, I like that scene, when they're showing, like, the dish being built, and it's, like, gonna be put into the Death Star at some point. Uh... I, ugh, I gotta say this right now, the big positive for me in this show, other than the world building, was Stellan Skarsgård. Anything that these people wrote, he made sound amazing. Uh, any scenes with Forrest Whitaker, Becca Saw, were awesome, because, uh, let me tell you this right now, the scenes, any scene with Stellan and Forrest was amazing. Uh, obviously the world building, uh... Some characters over uh, uh, over others. Uh, hmm. I don't know. There's there's not really a lot of positives, honestly, in this show. I will tell you this right now why no one's watching the show. Because Kathleen Kennedy and her team of Nimrods have pissed on the Star Wars fans for too long. With each film, the money went down or you made no money at all. And then, shows the shows wise, I'm not going to lie, Mandalorian should, honestly should be a show that's like 45 minutes long. Each episode. Instead of like, oh, sometimes it'll just be a random 32. And it feels like a half hour. And it feels like a comedy where it's like that quick. Uh, Boba Fett was decent in my opinion. Obi-Wan made me want to piss myself. Made me want to tear up because of how bad it was. The writing sucked. And that's terrible. And I feel bad for that writer who was credited with like three of the episodes. He wrote the movie script of it. And then they just put in a bunch of identity politics and crap. And gave us a character no one wanted in Riva. Terrible writing. Just everything about that show sucked. Uh, it made Boba Fett look like a great show. Uh, and with Andor, it was like a first... I would say right now, this was like the best written show, minus those first few episodes. But it was overall the best written show. And then it sucks how it's like Tony Gilroy is like, I don't care about Star Wars, I just want to put real politics in this. And then like the chick who plays Mon Mothma. Oh my gosh, so stupid. Actually, her and this other chick that were in the show. So stupid. She was like, uh, she's very much like Nancy Pelosi and Susan Collins. So, you like losing? No. And then the other chick's like, oh my gosh. Oh no, the blonde chick. That's what it was. The blonde chick, the Imperial. My character's like AOC. So, you like, so you like, you know, hooking up with redheads? And you're also a retard? No offense to all you redheads out there. I'm talking about, you know, AOC's fiance. Yeah, talking about men, not women. You know. That was a terrible point. Who am I kidding? But still, retard. So you look at retards for, like, oh my gosh, they're so amazing. AOC and Pelosi, they're so... Pelosi needs to change her face. That's a, that's not a real face. But anyway, no one's watching Andor because of that. Because they're putting real politics. Why do you have to put real politics in Star Wars? There's always been politics in Star Wars, but this politics are stupid. An ant? You know, like, the vehicles looked awesome. The world building, you know. Some of the characters, like Skarsgård and... Forrest Whitaker and others. But again, no one's watching the show because you burnt those bridges, Kennedy. You need to go. And, and I'll tell you this right now. Bob Iger, he could fire her or make her resign. He ain't gonna fix anything. This guy started the problems when he bought Lucasfilm. Poor George. Probably sitting there going, you ruined my baby. Yeah, and I'm sorry, George. Us real Star Wars fans, believe me, we could write a better show. Or movie. But anyway, this is my thoughts slash rant on Andor and also I'd say Lucasfilm in general. 
But yeah, if I'm if you're an actor doing Star Wars, don't get political. Don't even touch. Just be like, oh yeah, she's just a real leader, like some politician. Instead of naming them like Pelosi, really. And you wonder why no one gives a frick about you guys. But anyway, that's gonna do it for me. I don't want to say anything really, you know, bad. So I'm cutting it here. See you next time, everyone.